after many days of searching, hundreds of hours of house tours, and many declined offers later, we finally got our offer accepted on a house. After a 15-day close, we now have the keys to our brand new hey house. Guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are back here at the Flip House. Starting day one of demo, we're gonna be doing some stuff outside, some stuff inside. up a few items since we just got the keys there's absolutely nothing in here and there's a few things that we need to get started on this place just some cleaning supplies so I'm gonna start this video off with a little bit of a haul so that you guys can see everything that we got for the very first day of working in this flip house first of all shout out to Bell Bank we got a bunch of stuff from them when we closed some of the stuff includes some Kleenexes some garbage bags some cups, we also got some hand sanitizer wipes, some napkins, some plates, silverware, that'll be good, and paper towels. We also just got, you know, this really huge cooler bag which might come in handy if we wanna bring lunches over to this flip house or anything like that. And then when we went to the store, I also got some disinfectant wipes. I want to just wipe down all of the bathrooms because we are going to be using them while we're here. And I just want to make sure that there are, all the germs are gone and that the bathrooms are clean when we're using them. Along with that, also just some hand soap. I also got some medium-sized garbage bags and and some vinyl gloves just because I don't want to be touching a lot of this stuff with... Um, my bare hands. I also just got a really cheap towel to dry our hands off with. It's just something. While I was at the store, I also picked up another SD card because there's gonna be a lot of content on this house and I don't want to not be able to film anything because I ran out of storage. So that's all the cleaning supply stuff, the stuff that we got from Bell Bank. And then we did also get one more thing, which is this multi-use sprayer. We're actually going to be scraping the popcorn off of all the ceilings, and that's one of the very first things that we wanna do. So we got this, and then we also got just a popcorn ceiling scraper. I do think that we're also just gonna like run home and grab like, a putty knife scraper too because I'm pretty sure once it the ceiling is wet and is ready to scrape even a putty knife will work so we're gonna do that just to save money and not have to go to the store and spend a ton of money unnecessarily I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod my very first job here is actually to take pictures of all of these kitchen cabinets we want to get those torn out either today or tomorrow um, and then we're just gonna store them in the garage and see if anyone wants them up until we get our dumpster And if no one wants them, then we'll just throw them in the dumpster, but I'm hoping maybe someone will want this I'm just gonna put an ad on Facebook marketplace and say make an offer and Hopefully maybe we can get like $500 out of them. It'll come with the countertops the cabinets the sink the fridge stove we're doing a full remodel in this kitchen so everything's got to go so i'm gonna work on getting these staged the boys are actually outside working on i don't know if you guys can see but there's like some fencing around the property and it's all water damaged and just needs to be torn out so the boys are starting on tearing out all the fencing and we're just getting straight to work here so we're super excited let's go take some pictures and stage these kitchen cabinets and get them out of here
boys and girls. We got the pictures, so now it's time to tear these down. We're gonna do our best to not destroy them as we take them down, since we do wanna hopefully sell them. So we're gonna try to be careful, but whatever happens, happens. And I'm not gonna sweat it if a few of them break. When it came down to tearing down the kitchen cabinets, there really wasn't much that I could do because I wasn't strong enough, so I was kind of just the person that would take the smaller things down to the garage and get it out of our way. You can see that I'm doing that here with the kitchen cabinet drawers, and I'll be doing that with some shelving later on as well. The boys stuck to the heavier things. Luckily, the garage was a straight shot down those stairs, and the door was right there, so it wasn't too difficult. I'm just gonna say this right now but thank god we have Nate helping us on this house if it were just me and Avery 
Avery would not have been able to do these cabinets by himself and I am not strong enough to be able to hold those while Avery is unscrewing things like Nate was able to. So I'm just really happy that we've got two boys on this project and I can just sit back and do the smaller things. There is a few things that we left in the kitchen just because they were so heavy like the oven and the fridge and some of the countertops but for the most part as we take things down we're trying to get them all out and into the garage so that it feels like we always have a clean workspace to work in. I know especially with my furniture flips once my space is super dizzy super dirty i start to feel really overwhelmed and feel like i just can't work about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know After we got that countertop down, it was time to start banging into the wall, and I was the lucky person that got to go first. It's so funny to watch this and every time that I hit the wall because I was definitely the person that hit the wall the most times, but I was also the person that probably got the least amount done. I just wasn't strong enough to bang down that drywall and the boys just made it look so easy. Oh, I'll get it out of the wall. 
Under there. <laughs> 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 that just proves how dirty these walls are. <laughs>